Alois, not a destructive performance at your call. You getting used to it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we train for. This is what we do in the gym. I don't expect nothing else in, the, in fight night. Your opponent's a tough, tough guy. You know, at his record, you look, he's been there, he takes the rounds, but your power is something that is people don't know about, but I think they're going to start learning about. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm only 19. I'm still maturing. I'm um, still growing into my man's strength. And listen, they don't call me animal for no reason. <laughs> what you're known for as well, you know, that first debut fight, you went straight in with a tough, tough man. Yep. Unfortunately, the decision just didn't come, but now you're getting to pick your fights, take your time. Yep. Is this something that now in the gym you're seeing as well, that you're able to take your time, prepare better? Yeah, um, look, I've had sit-downs with my coaches. We um, look at that, the angle, what way we want to go down, and just take our time. Again, I don't need to rush. I'm only 19. You know, the average heavyweight cruiserweight champion is like 30 years old, so I've got a lot of time. I'm going to take my time, take a stroll through the park a couple times, and yeah, we'll get the we'll get the stoppages, we'll get the wins, and we will get that title eventually. Just if you're stopping people like this at 19, when you're saying there the man's strength coming in, that's quite a scary possibility. Very scary. Um, I feel sorry for all the cruiserweights around. You know, um, they're gonna feel that power seriously. Probably tough for the coaches on the pads as well. <laughs> my coaches. <laughs> um, look, on my, on my shoulders are broken. Pain. <laughs> Hurts. Yeah. And body bag. Sometimes, oh, sometimes yeah. I wear body bag, and I feel pain everywhere. So. This guy is a beast, animal. And that performance, is that exactly what you were working on? Is that exactly what the gym plan was? Um, absolutely. As I said before, I took my time in the ring. I didn't even want it. My coach told me to take him out. I was like, look, let me take my time. He's like, no, take him out. I'm like, yeah, say no more. I'll take him out. I did see, though, the first time you had him down, there was a big smile on your face. You were enjoying it? Yeah, I'm always calm. I'm always cool. I don't let the pressure get to me. This is nothing to me. It's just me and another man in the ring. And I take my time, you know, and I find the right shot. And I always do. Where there's one, sh where, where there's one percent, I will be that man to get that one percent. Well, last time you were out was in March. So it was quite a while back. It's probably not been as many times out this year as you wanted. Is the goal then next year to be super active? Absolutely, man. Someone needs to call Frank Warren and get me out more. You get see what I'm saying? Get this man out more. You know, he needs to be busy. He's in the gym every day, every day, Monday to Sunday, non-stop. He needs to get put out. He deserves it. It's his time to shine. He needs the recognition that he deserves. Alo is the animal. You know, I got I got a big thanks to my coaches, my sponsors on my t-shirt. We did a little tour. On but look, um, I'm very thankful. I'm very happy. I'm very blessed for the people around me. Um, everyone, man, they they, they play a, a pivotal uh, part to my journey. So I thank them. How do you see then the next 12 months going? Super active? Are we going to go up in rounds? Even though you don't need these rounds, seemingly. But are we going to go up to longer fights, longer fights? Uh, why not? Uh, I'm up for a challenge, you know. I, I dedicate myself every day in the gym, so why not? You know, push myself, push the limits. You know, there's no limit for me. And then for your team, just how happy are you with your with his development so far? Are you feeling he's going in the correct direction? To be honest, the kind of boxers he's sparring, the caliber of people he's sharing the ring with, are elite individuals. These these nights like these are just for us to test out what we're capable of. This man is destined des destined for, to go far. He's gonna make it, and his future is bright. You know. What you've seen today is just one percent, so there's 99 to go. 99 to go. So what you've seen today is like one percent. So there's a lot of things to do with this guy. Well, if that was only one percent, that's quite that's quite a scary prospect. Very scary. <laughs> Very scary, you know. As I said before, they don't call me animal for no reason. I could be a gorilla today, you know, get cheer tomorrow. So I, I don't mind. Can I add one more thing? There's not one cruiserweight in this country that we fear. Not one whatsoever. But it's all about timing. Exactly. That's it. It's all about timing. We don't fear nobody. We train too hard to fear anyone, you know? Yeah. When you look then at domestic level, younger cruiserweights, would you take any of them? Listen, again, there's no need to rush. But I will smoke all of them. i got smoke for everyone, you know? But again, I'll take my time, you know? Later on, I'll get them eventually. But now I'm focused on myself, focused on my development, focused on my team. Well, we can't wait to see that smoke then and the next 99%. Congratulations on the win. Appreciate it. Thank you.